The fear of being alone is a very real one, but it's also very complicated because in some ways it's rational and in some ways it's not. The need for social interaction is inbuilt, it's in our DNA and our nature. We are human beings, of course, but also the need to have self-love, the ability to face challenges on your own and be okay with that is also very important for our mental health. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about the fear of being alone, the importance of self-love for your mental health and pretty much that. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to your favourite mental health advice slash awareness and travel channel. I hope you're doing absolutely splendid today. Now, having good people around you is of course very important. So many studies have found the significance of having positive and supporting people around you on your health, your mental health, your career, your success, so many different factors. Great people can do great things for you. But also, you don't want to get to a point in which you're relying on these people and that fear of losing them is dragging you down, it's hindering you in your own life and your own happiness. I guess we kind of want to get to a point in which we appreciate those around us, we appreciate what they do for us, but actually we realise what we feel is ultimately up to us and ourselves and our own perceptions of the world. Now I want to start off by saying by no means can I solve this issue. It's a very complicated one, an in-depth one, and I think it's something a lot of people struggle with, but also something that not many people have the answer to. I think there are certain aspects of this fear that is actually built into us and our DNA. And to some extent, we can't control that part of us. We are human beings, we need social interaction. But equally, a large part of this is based off our perception. If we don't feel like we can control our own mental health and we feel like we're relying on others, this is when that fear can manifest and become a real problem. If we feel like we're in a space in which we rely on others for our happiness and our motivation to do things every single day, we can become reliant on them. And therefore we feel if we lose that support, then we're not gonna be able to feel those things. And that is an issue. And I had been in this situation before and it wasn't until I went away and did some very cool things that I will talk about in this video that I realised that in fact it wasn't the people around me supplying the happiness, it was myself. But previously I had been alone, I hadn't had much friends, so when I met these new people I felt like they were the source of my newfound happiness. But in fact it wasn't the case. Now the cool thing that I want to talk about in this video is when I went to the summer camp in 2019. You may have seen the video before, it's, I'll put a picture of the thumbnail right there because it was a very, very significant part of my life. When I went away to camp, I realized that I had so little self-esteem, so little self-love, that I was using the new people around me as security, as a backup. So I was relying on them and using their love to feel good about myself. And using other people as a source of these things like happiness and self-esteem is a very dangerous game. It got to a point in which I was pushing people away because I was so scared they were going to leave me because I was so reliant on them that I'd start doing things that just were not healthy for any friendship or relationship. And that can be a problem when you're scared of, of losing people. When I went to camp, I entered an environment in which I was forced to be confident with myself and to give myself some self-love because there was no other sources around me. Not to mention the fact that I was in a completely new country and I was isolated from all the people that knew me best. I guess you could say because I was isolated, because no one particularly knew me that well when I was in camp, I had to get to know myself, my own strengths and my own weaknesses, and I had to come to terms with that. That's an important part of loving yourself and being comfortable with being alone. And this experience showed me that although I was alone, although I was being challenged every single day with emotionally challenging, physically challenging tasks, that I was going to be okay. Because I adapted, I morphed into this person that was always there, just covered by a few layers. And funnily enough, it's someone I'm pretty happy with. And that's my first bit of advice to you, is perhaps you're not happy with yourself because you're not doing things that will make you happy, that will make you proud of yourself, at least according to your own ethics. Before I went away, my life plan was based around money and reputation and security. And now I've realized these are not things that are central or core to who I am. It took going to camp for me to realize what I want to do with my life, how I want to use who I am to benefit the world. And because I know I'm making progress towards this long-term goal of mine, 
I feel happier in myself, more confident in myself. And I don't feel the need to rely on others for that so much anymore. And not only this, I also isolated myself. I put myself in the situation that I was most afraid of. I was away from all my friends. I didn't have them to rely on. Previously, before this experience, I had genuinely believed if I was alone that I would not be happy. And I thought that my friends were my only source of happiness and this experience showed me otherwise. So my second bit of advice is spend some time alone. When we have fears of things, like being scared of being alone, we often avoid that very thing. It kind of makes sense, right? We don't want to provoke that anxiety. We don't want to be alone because we're scared of it. But often, in fact, avoiding that very thing makes the anxiety a lot worse. And the reality is we are going to be in situations in our life where we are alone. We have to face challenges alone. So if we can get used to that feeling, get content and almost happy that we have to face it alone, this will help in the long run. And that's not to say isolate yourself. Start slow, go on some walks on your own, do some fun things on your own that you enjoy, and you can work it up from there, even to a point in which you can travel on your own. The whole point of this video is the fear of being alone is rational. It makes sense and is completely understandable. Things are a lot harder when you have to do them alone. Having good people around you is very important. I think we all partially experience the fear of being alone. It's inbuilt within us. I'm going through a few things at the moment and I can't imagine what it would be like right now if I didn't have the amazing support of my friends currently. Of course, we should strive to have the best people around us. But I also think it's important to realize that self-love is vital and I mean vital to having healthy relationships and healthy thinking patterns. If you don't trust yourself or love yourself enough, when life throws those situations which you must face alone, it can become overwhelming. And this can be an issue for a lot of people. It's okay to be overwhelmed with the thought of being alone. It makes a lot of sense. But you're a lot stronger than you think. When you do these things like spending time alone, you're simply warming up the muscles that you already have. My final tip for this video is work on yourself. Find the things that you don't like about yourself, challenge them and work on them. It could be physical, like trying to lose weight, or mental, like trying to build up some resilience. Whatever it is, just make sure it's a positive impact on you. Difficult things often provoke uncomfortable feelings. That's kind of how it works. But that's also the positive of these things, is when you can face them in a more controlled and calm environment, when it does come up in real life, when you are forced into a situation by yourself, you are a lot more comfortable and a lot more well prepared. And it also means the fear of being in that situation is a lot less than it was before. If you are able to focus on yourself a little bit, enjoy who you are as a person a lot more, you can start to reduce this anxiety and reduce this fear. And it makes relationships a lot easier and it makes you a lot happier. Please feel free to leave a comment on any advice you have, any thoughts you have, any recommendations for future videos. Make sure you leave a like and you subscribe and all that. And I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.